Hi everyone, I'm Shu Hong Wang. It is an honor to present our teamwork to you. We are from Guanyin's lab at Zhejiang University, and our paper's name is For Doodle, 40 Printing Artifacts Without 3D Printers. So, what is 4D printing? Well, it's still based on 3D printing technology, but it involves transformation of the printing. After the printing is done, the object can transform into a totally different shape. It's like a new shape changing method. Our team has been working on 4D printing shape for a while. Specifically, we've been focusing on 4D printing thermoplastics, including origami self folding structures, reversible self folding structures through conductive thermoplastics, and mesh based transformations. However, there are still some challenges with the traditional 4D printing that we've been trying to address. One of the main issues is that the disconnect and the isolation between digital design and the physical fabrication. It can be hard for users to have full control over the final product, modify the model in the middle process, especially if they are not experienced with design and the fabrication software like Fusion and CAD. We wondered if there was a way to make 4D printing more accessible to novices without access to 3D printers. That's when we had an idea. Why not use a 3D pen? A 3D pen is a tool that lets you create freehand 3D drawings and structures in the air. It's pretty cool. You can use it to modify existing 3D prints by filling in gaps or adding new elements. So, here's the idea. Can we make 4D products by using 3D pen? The answer is yes. If you do the model in a certain trajectories, they can move into another shape after triggering in the whole environment. Pretty neat, right? We thought this hands-on approach to 4D printing could help users understand and reflect on their creations better. But when we conducted a pattern study, we found that some of them weren't able to get the results they wanted. The problem was the Layer signals in the printing speed, which are key factors in 4D printing, couldn't be controlled as well when drawing by hand. This means that the expected bending of the bilayer structures couldn't be achieved after hot water triggering. Let me explain the mechanism in more detail after introducing our experiment. First, let me introduce the experiment conditions. We use a standard 3D pen and PLA material, which is a kind of elastic material. Now for the results, we found that when users doodle faster, the morphing effect was more intense. If the doodling speed was under 1.2 cm per second, the flash can't morph at all. Also, the number of layers didn't seem to have as much of effect on the effect of for doodle as it did for 4D printing by machine. But wait, you might be thinking it didn't just a stone version of manual 4D printing? Well, we are more than that actually. To help users unleash their creativity while crafting, we aim to incorporate diverse doodling techniques that elevate for doodling experiments beyond the typical 4D printing done by machines. Contrary to Printing on the flat platform using 3D printers with 4Doodle, users can 4Doodle on everyday objects that have arbitrary surfaces to obtain various original shapes and see how these surfaces can morph. As a 3D pen is highly flexible, users can draw on a ridge of a bent cutting mat, producing an arc that can transform into a flat sheet after triggering. This technique can achieve a reverse transformation that is difficult for conventional 4D printing by machine because in conventional 4D printing by machine, the flexible vertical extrusion of material is still difficult. Inspired by aromatic crafting, we employ a turnable that can rotate in a constant speed and can be used to design central symmetric modes, allowing users to manipulate the printing pen while the turnable in the static position to obtain a symmetric 3D dimension shape. Texture is always an 
integral part of handicrafts and plays an essential role in human tactile perception. For Doodle Pro, that's a way to freely draw textures similar to oil brush across on 3D surfaces. The arrangement design of Zamblick transfers simple flash strips in um, complex structure in 3D spaces, providing a fundamental way to create geometric aesthetics. We utilize the composite structure of these strips as shown in the figure to produce a shape library by assembling flash strips. Tinkering the crafting method allows users to make continuous modification, which can speed up creative integration. With for Ludo, users can continuously modify, iterate, and gain inspiration from the assembling process and the atom. Users can also assemble the 4D pieces with any handy pieces. They can also deassemble and reconfigure other products. At the beginning of my presentation, we can see that some users couldn't get satisfactory results because they couldn't control the doodling speed. Therefore, we want to provide a tool that should assist novice users with basic for doodle techniques. In particular, it needs to teach users how to print in 4D trajectories at a proper for doodling speed. Now let's walk through each step of our learning tool. For the first step, the user can select a basic model from our library and adjust the parameters to achieve the expected results shown on the screen. Step 2. Users may transform the chosen model into the desired form by array, mirror, rotation, and so on. Step 3. The learning tool will display the doodling parts virtually as an animation, which helps users doodle at an appropriate speed to achieve the desired deforming results. After introducing our whole system, you may want to know what our photo doodle can bring to the users. Users can do those several practical products that adopt suspending structures to meet the personalized demand. Users can change the color of the artifacts quickly by using the 3D pen and creating thinner covers. After triggering, the crab is waving its hands. Now let's take a look at an interaction book. The story is about a little elephant who picked a flower for a giraffe. Unfortunately, the giraffe was too tall to reach the flower. The book encourages you to use for doodle to help them out. After you use for doodle and trigger it, the giraffe is able to get a flower in the 3D space. We created a 4D Akibana, which is a type of flower arrangement in art. By using the reversible technique of for doodle, when you trigger the boss using a heat gun, they slowly unfold like a blooming flower one by one. In the art creation area, Photodo can offer new interactive dimensions of time and deformation. Now let me turn off the lights. As the bulb heats up our time, it triggers the first stage of the blob. Once the temperature exceeds the melting threshold, the flower stem becomes soft and drops symbolizing the end of life. We offer reusable module design, as you can see in the figure. Users can assemble and deassemble these modules to create open-ended projects, such as a lampshade, a fruit plate, and a tree with light. For Doodle can also be used to display traditional art like Van Gogh sunflowers. The heating process is a creative element that artists can freely control. To test the effectiveness of our ML system and explore the opportunities and limitations of our for Doodle for creation, we held a two-day workshop where participants learned and practiced for Doodle skills and created their own freestyle pieces. From our finding, we discovered that participants use a more form and function in their free exploration. We also tested how for Doodle affected the creativity of the participants. They complete pre- and post-cognitive ability questionnaires, and the results show that their cognitive ability improved significantly after using for Doodle, including special ability and incubation creativity, 
We developed a universal low cost 3D printing method to offer a new production process for the maker and handcraft community. That's all. Thank you for listening.